Hi all. Okay, so we're gonna finish this up finally. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go you're gonna go with your half size nameplate. Okay, that was remember it was only half an inch tall. Um, and this one maybe a quarter of an inch tall. <laughs> um, this one we're gonna go to um, the this rectangle guy, and then we get the text tool right here. Uh, you're going to put your name, I'm gonna put my name right there, uh, first or last name, and we're going to go to uh, Open Sans, okay, and we're just going to use regular, okay, not bold, not italic, just regular, and the height is going to be uh, one inch, and um, excuse me, that's gonna be one foot, and the text extrusion is gonna be um, one inch, okay? And we're gonna hit okay. All right, it's gonna be enormous. It's gonna be over here like that, but nice and big and nice skinny letters. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, um, the mouse is not functioning. Hmm. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to explode, okay? And then on each of these guys, um, we're going to do, sorry, um, we're going to do a, the rectangle tool, which would be R, and we're going to go click, click, drag out, and that is going to go to one inch. So you can see that down in the lower right-hand corner, dimensions one inch by one inch, and it's on the green axis. I'm going to click that, uh, spacebar out of it. I'm going to go to the uh, two-point arc tool. Um, hmm, two-point arc, there we go. Uh, click and click and then drag down. Make sure that you get that on face, okay? Uh, grab the eraser tool right there, one, two. Um, then you need to remember... Um, Spacebar, we're going to select the top of this. Actually, we have to have the Follow Me tool on deck. That's a Follow Me tool. Um, so, uh, Spacebar, select the top one, Follow Me tool, and then click that, and it'll go around. Okay? So, um, we're going to do that on each of these letters. If you have um, letters like mine um, with an E or an A on it, just a second. Okay, um, so if you have letters um, like E or A or O, you need to also do the inside. So remember it's rectangle tool, click down. You guys have all done this before, it's gonna be great. This would be on the red axis or the green depending on, um, but one inch by one inch, we're gonna grab that two point arc tool again, click and click, and then on the face, on the red axis, go eraser tool, one, two. Uh, that didn't, ah, see it's bowed out like that. That is not how you do it. Control Z, control C. We're gonna go um, two point axis, one here, one there. Has to say not on red axis, but on face. Goodness, okay, on face, E. Uh, eraser tool. Uh, remember, with the follow me tool, follow me tools on deck, we have to select this guy, hold shift, select that, hold shift, select that, so we get the entire ring around. So all that's selected, click on the follow me tool, one click, and then click here, and it zips around. So all that's taken care of. Um, since you guys already know how to do this, I'm going to uh, pause this here and finish the rest of the letters, and then I'll be back to you. Um, also, if you have two letters that are extremely close together, like these two are pretty close, I'm going to grab this whole letter, this whole Z, triple click, one, two, three, okay? Grab the move tool and just move a little bit this way. Okay, on the red axis until we're kind of like more evenly spaced. If you notice that, but it's got to be on the red axis. Okay, so I'm going to finish this really quick and... 
Okay, so we have this entire thing done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of it. Right click and hit make group. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do is hit the move tool, which is M. Move it out. I'm going to grab this corner, that origin and group, and go into here. And just make sure that it says on face and group. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go tap S, which is the scale tool. Grab this upper right corner and just zip it down. Okay. You're going to have to do this probably in two passes. Right. Um, right. And zip it down until it fits inside your print. Probably right about there. Okay. I'm going to grab the middle right here. This, this one that is the upper um, handle right here. I click and grab it and then I go over to the side. Okay. And that where it says on facing group like that and click there. So now it has taken um, the name and brought it all the way up to the edge. All right. Um, I'm going to tap the space bar, um, make sure that that is right flush with the edge, hit save, um, go ahead and purge all, okay, and then um, I'm going to grab the entire thing, right click, make group, so that locks the entire thing together. Now what you're going to do is you're going to download as an STL file, and you're going to send that to me. Okay, thank you guys so much.